few years ago, I built a creative and consulting agency. Every single day, I would be taking calls with clients, I would be arranging shoots, talking to models and editors and photographers, all the while trying to build the business so it could thrive, hire more people, make me more successful. The thing that you can sometimes forget is that there's only a limited amount of time in a week. As I tried to pack more into every week, my nights would get later, my days would get longer, until I had the most intense burnout of my entire life. So much so that I had to shut down the company. Now, if you're an e-com brand, if you work in tech, or if you just have a thousand things to do every week, you're probably still kicking yourself for not having enough time to get all of it done. There's nothing worse than finishing a day of work and then feeling like you didn't actually complete anything. Now, recently, there's been an absolute explosion in the productivity and AI tools market. Maybe if I'd had some of these tools when I was building my company, I wouldn't have burned out. Today, I'm going to go over these tools and exactly how they can help you get more done every single day. So, whether you're bootstrapping your own business or just trying to get 10 times more done in a single day, this video is for you. Now, there are a thousand and one meeting and task management tools available today, but I want to talk about a couple niches that are absolute game changers for your productivity. All while keeping in mind that your tool stack has to be small. You don't want to juggle and be paying for 20 different software platforms. First up are meeting assistants, and I'm going to show you a couple of them that are absolutely smashing through the charts. Now, let's say that you've got three meetings in three hours. That could be with the content marketing team, operations, and CS. You've got to wear a lot of hats just to make sure everything is running smoothly. Traditionally, you might ask one person in each meeting to be the designated note taker. You might use an assistant, but you're not always going to have somebody who can do it the exact same way for every single meeting. That's what these tools are for. The market for speech and voice recognition, which includes AI meeting assistants, is set to pass 42 billion by 2029, with an annual growth rate of over 20%. Let's start with a meeting assistant, an AI note taker that has over a thousand percent search growth in the past two years alone, and it's called Fathom. No matter what video conferencing tool that you're using, Fathom can record, transcribe, highlight, and summarize all of your meetings in the exact same style. It transcribes your meetings in real time, identifying who said what, then it creates structured summaries that highlight key discussion points, key decisions that have been made, and action items that can get assigned throughout the meeting. Fathom will send out an email after the meeting to every single person who has an action item assigned. Now this might be my favorite feature, AI assistant called Ask Fathom. Just imagine being able to ask, what did we decide about the Q2 budget? And getting an instant answer without having to scroll through all the transcripts. It's like having an AI meeting encyclopedia at your fingertips. You can also create specific shareable clips of different moments of your meetings. So if anybody missed the meeting, they can just get the highlights. It also integrates directly with CRMs, things like HubSpot, Salesforce, and Close. This means you can say goodbye to manual data entry of any kind. Plus, with a Zapier integration, you can connect Fathom to virtually anything. So it's got amazing features, but is it right for you? If you work in sales, you know how critical it is to keep your CRM updated and to be really diligent about tracking your deals. Fathom makes this super easy. Fathom is also perfect for CS teams because it keeps everything hyper-organized and in one place. Fathom support up to 28 languages right now, which makes it great for any kind of global collaboration. If you're wondering how well it's been received, they've got an amazing five out of five stars on G2 Crowd. And let's not forget, on Product Hunt, Fathom was awarded the number one AI meeting assistant tool. If you're curious about pricing, it's pretty straightforward. They do have a free plan with unlimited transcriptions and storage, but limited AI features and integrations. Their premium plan clocks in at $19 a month, and that's where you get AI summaries, action items, and follow-up emails this is a good place to start just to see if this one is right for you. Now, in September of last year, they secured a $17 million Series A round. Their revenue grew exponentially and their user base increased 20 times in just two years. It's also the most installed AI app on Zoom and HubSpot. So it looks like the future is very bright for Fathom. So check it out to see if it's right for you. Imagine an AI assistant that could take over your calendar, creating a personalized schedule for you every single day based on what tasks are highest priority. Now imagine it's a trending platform with over 245% growth in the past two years alone. Let's take a look at Motion. 
You're gonna think of Motion like a personal assistant, but one that's obsessed with saving you time in your calendar. Here's how it works. It uses AI to take a look at your deadlines, your tasks, and even your own energy levels to help build you the perfect daily schedule. And here's the best part, it adapts in real time. So say you've got a last minute meeting pop up, it'll reshuffle your tasks to make sure that you are always on track. It's like having a super smart brain just for your calendar that's working 24 seven to make sure you are productive and you don't burn out. It's pretty cool, right? Their AI task manager spots what needs your attention first and pushes it to the top of your list. I mean, we're only human. Sometimes we will favor a task that's a little bit easier even if it's not as high priority because we just want something easy. And sometimes it's easy to forget that you have higher priority tasks sitting in the background. Motion makes sure that doesn't happen. Their dashboards are also really cool. They're intuitive and they let you visualize your whole team's workflow, their progress, and helps you make data-driven decisions. They've also got what they call a happiness algorithm, and it's designed to maximize your happiness and satisfaction while boosting productivity. It does this by prioritizing challenging and meaningful work and ensuring that you don't avoid the harder and the more important tasks. So who is this tool really built for? I can tell you, as somebody who was diagnosed at a very young age with intense ADHD, this tool is a perfect fit. So if you're like me, if you have a thousand tasks per week, if you are a busy solopreneur, if you're working in a larger company, there are so many demographics that this tool is a perfect fit for. As far as pricing goes, they've got plans for everybody. They've got an individual plan for 34 bucks a month, which is really great for solo users. You get AI scheduling, task management, calendar tools, and meeting booking. Plus you get access to their mobile and desktop apps so you can use it wherever you are. For more advanced features, they've got a business and a business pro plan. So no matter what size your org is, they've got you covered. Now, back in September of 22, they announced a $13 million Series A funding round. So if you're curious what it would be like to have a super smart AI assistant built into your calendar, definitely check them out. Speaking of automation tools, let's take a look at one that's open sourced, easy to use, and can automate loads of different tasks in your business. Not to mention, it requires zero technical skill to implement. Let's take a look at Active Pieces. The platform has seen some crazy growth, even hitting 100% search growth in the past three months alone. Basically, it connects your apps and services by letting them talk to one another so they can take care of all these repetitive tasks for you. Think of it like your personal automation assistant, working behind the scenes to save you loads of time and energy. So what makes it stand out? Well, it's super easy to use, whether you're a tech pro or somebody who's completely new to the space. Plus, given the huge emphasis on cybersecurity that we're gonna see this year, it's important that you can actually self-host active pieces so you don't have to worry about security at all. So it's got a no code drag and drop interface so you can build these automated workflows they call pieces in minutes. That means that you can easily set up anything from lead capture to social media posting with zero tech background. It's built on an open source foundation, meaning that you can self host the code base for complete customization and security. Now this is especially interesting for any enterprises that have very strict compliance policies. It's also designed for collaboration between your team members. So it's got shared workspaces, role-based access, and version control. So who is this tool really beneficial for? If you're a developer, part of a team that's scaling rapidly, their open source design lets you customize the tool to exactly your tech stack. And the fact that you can self-host it means that this is perfect for any business in the healthcare space or in the fintech space. If you need to build something even more specific, you can do so right inside using Python or JavaScript. As I mentioned though, it's not just for techies. If you don't have any technical experience, you can still use this tool to build out complex automations. Their drag and drop interface makes that process fun, easy, and versatile. With a bunch of pre-built templates, it's also perfect for solopreneurs or small business owners. Basically for anybody who needs these automations but doesn't have a lot of time to set everything up themselves. So far, Active Pieces has been a crowd favorite. On G2 Crowd, it's pulled in 4.8 out of 5 stars. And on Product Hunt, it's got a nearly perfect 4.9 out of 5. Overall, users can agree that it's simple, it's powerful, it's flexible, and it's cost effective. If you're a little nervous about testing this out, don't worry, there's a free plan with unlimited users so you can really put this thing to the test. That said, you will have to upgrade if you want more powerful collaboration tools. On their hosted plans, they charge $1 for every 1,000 tasks. This could be anything from reading a Slack message to updating a spreadsheet. If you're doing a lot of these, that cost can then add up. 
but if you self-host, you can run unlimited tasks without worrying about running up your budget. So far, Active Pieces has raised about half a million in convertible note funding. They've also got the backing of Y Combinator, one of the most prestigious startup accelerators in existence. Founded in 22, this is still a baby in the automation space, but it is growing quickly and it is loved by a lot of people. And it's no surprise, both Motion and Active Pieces are part of this AI automation sector that is growing rapidly. By 2030, the global AI market could be worth more than $826 billion. If we zoom in on the software segment that includes businesses like Active Pieces and Motion, we're looking at an estimated $390 billion market segment by 2030 with an insane annual growth rate of 30%. So if you're looking for the perfect time to try these tools out, this is your sign. AI voice recorders are not just tools. They are becoming absolutely essential for working professionals and their user base is growing every single day. The audio AI recognition market is projected to hit almost 20 billion by 2033. So real quick, let's talk about two companies that are leading the pack in manufacturing AI voice recorders, iFly Tech and HiDoc. So what if you had a gadget that could record, transcribe, and summarize all of your meetings in one place, in real time? These two AI-powered voice recorders are like having a super smart AI assistant in your pocket. Here's what they can do. They record crystal clear audio, even in noisy rooms. They transcribe speech from multiple speakers instantly, making sure you never miss a word. They summarize long meetings into concise and simple points. They identify different speakers and cut out background noise. They work in multiple languages and they integrate with all of your favorite apps. Now, let's break down how these two are different and why they're so amazing. The iFly Tech Smart Recorder is perfect for people who are on the go. It's got a compact size and a seven hour battery life. It works offline, even if you've got no Wi-Fi, and has a really simple touchscreen design. The HiDoc H1 is more of a desk powerhouse. It doubles as a docking station with extra ports, a speaker, and a handy app for managing all your recordings. So, who are these really for? If you are a journalist, a business executive, a lawyer, anybody who's on the go and has to take a lot of notes, these are perfect for you. These are also perfect gifts for students or anybody who needs to transcribe a lot of notes. For any multilingual individuals who are working in multiple languages, this is also perfect. And one sector which isn't talked about nearly enough is accessibility. These are perfect for people who are not able to take notes maybe as fast as somebody else. I mean, who wouldn't find use from one of these? They're portable, they're hands-free, and they're super intuitive. The company iFly Tech has raised a crazy 418 million across five funding rounds. While HiDoc doesn't have a traditional funding round listed, we do know that they were hugely popular on Kickstarter. And they're gearing up for a new campaign with their HiDoc P1, launching from March 20th. So, let's face it, work today does not have to be a never-ending grind, a race to the bottom, and to burnout. Productivity tools like these are not gonna remove the work from your plate, but they are gonna help you organize it so you can take care of what's most important first. If you've tried any of these tools, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'd love to hear your opinions. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.